Okay guys, this episode we're going to be talking about strippers. That is, wire strippers. If you're looking for something else, I'm sure YouTube's got plenty of other videos out there. Um, this is just a, an ordinary pair of uh, wire strippers. Uh, it, it corresponds with the wire size that you have here. Uh, for instance, what you're going to do is just going to kind of look at it. I don't even read them anymore. Just going to kind of look at what size you think it is. Nope, that one's too small. Go to the next one and just kind of keep going back and forth, back and forth. And you're just going to pull it like that. And you have a stripped wire. And there's the other end. Um, these wire strippers also have a cutter right here. Which what you do is you just cut it off like so. They also have a crimper here. Uh, bolt cutters along this edge here and some more crimpers here for other different types of connectors. These are probably the most common uh, type of wire strippers you'll find out there on the market. Now there's a different kind out there. That's this guy right here. A uh, pretty old little tool. What you have here is you actually have like a, a little two V grooves that come together and bite the wire and you kind of go back and forth with the set screw here until you think you have about the right size. Lock it in with this guy right back here. Put the wire in there and pull. And there you have it. One more stripped wire. To correctly wire nut something together, like say these two wires right here, um, be sure that the length of the jacket stripped off is always the same. Uh, you don't want to have something like this. See, if I went to wire tie that together, that really wouldn't work too well. So you always want to make sure that both uh, jackets are stripped the same length away from the wire. Okay, you want them to be about like that. Then you go ahead and grab the appropriate size wire net. And you don't want to pre-twist these at all. You just want to leave them the way they are. Sometimes I touch them together a little bit like that. You simply slip on the wire net push it down and then go ahead and twist it on uh, clockwise if you're looking at it from the top down like so and then some people they'll even back off they'll hold it down here and they'll twist it so the wire is twisted uh, I don't know it's up to you if you want to do that or not but I find out that I found out that doing it like this holds the wire in there pretty well especially uh, if someone's pulling on it like this okay